In this lecture, we are going to know about helical sweep. With the helical sweep, we can create a helical profile. If you go to the sweep option, click on this arrow, you can see helical sweep. Before creating the helical sweep, we need to create some sketch. So to create the helical sweep, what I do, I will go to sweep, click on helical sweep. Now inside this helical sweep, first option is type. Then there is option of pitch, section, settings and many more options. So first of all, we need to define a helical profile. Click on this references, you can see helical profile, click on define. Now select any plane, let's say this is our top plane, click on sketch. To create the helical profile, we need a straight line. So let's say I will draw a straight line at some offset distance from this vertical central line. So let's say this value, this is 500. Offset distance, let's say this is 200, okay. Now, when we want to create a helical sweep, it is always going to create a rotating sweep. And whenever we have anything rotating, we need a center of revolution. So I will go to center line. I will draw a vertical center line like this. Now take the mouse onto the center line, hold down the right click, click on designate axis of revolution. So with this, our profile is going to revolve with respect to this center line. And this line is representing the length of our helical sweep. I will click OK. So now we have defined the helical sweep profile. We need to create the sketch section for this. Click on sketch. And here let's say I'm going to create a circular profile. Draw a circle of any dimension. Let's say this is 25 click OK and now you can see the helical profile. Now inside this helical profile we have some parameters. First parameter is called the pitch value. So if you take a look at from the front view, ok we need let's say right view. Now inside this right view you can see there is a value of pitch. So pitch is basically the gap between two helical profiles. So now you can see we are two circular profile. The gap between them is equal to the value of this pitch. So let's say I will increase this value to 75. You can see the gap is increasing. After that, we can create a solid profile or a surface profile. We can also define a thickened feature. Also, we have left hand profile and right hand profile. Right now, by default, it is going to take right handed profile. So rotation is going to start with the right hand. If I click on this left hand, the rotation is going to start from you can see this is from left hand. And then we have section orientation like through helix profile normal to any projection. We can also define the variable pitch from here. So right now the pitch is constant. I will click on add let's say from end point this value is 100. Now the pitch is increasing linearly from 75 to 100 between each coil or between each turn. If I click on this option we have we also have the option of defining variable cross section. So to create this what I do I will go to references. Okay I will decrease the value of pitch let's say this is 50. Now click on this helix profile click on edit. First I will go to this vertical constraint click on this press the delete button. I don't want this line to be vertical. Double click on this value let's say this is 250. Now you can see this line is not a straight line. Click OK and now you can see if I go to this option click on variable. So with this you can see the sweep profile or you can say the helical profile is linearly increasing. You can see it is variable. So I will click OK. 
We can also create the threaded profile using this helical sweep. So let's say I will go to helical sweep right click and I'm going to delete this. I will go to extrude. Let's say I will select top plane. So I will create a circle here. Let's say draw a circle. Let's say this circle is of diameter 12. Click OK. Now the height is let's say this is 50. Okay, we can take some higher value. Let's say this is 75. 75. Click OK. Now I want to create a threaded profile for this profile of a bolt. So what I do, I will go to helical sweep and I will select perpendicular plane. So we'll click on define. Let's say I will select this plane, right plane, sketch. Now onto this plane, I will turn off the datum planes. Go to line from this end point up to this end point or a line. We need an axis of revolution. Click on sketch view. Center line. Right click designate axis of revolution. Click OK. Now I will go to sketch. Here, let's say I will draw a circle. Let's say the circle of value one. Click OK. Let's say I want to increase the value. One is very small. So let's say this value is 1.5. Now click OK. You can see a threaded profile. Decrease the value of pitch. Let's say this is 5. OK, let's say this is 4. Now what I do, I will click on remove material. Click OK. And this time you can see Click on the shade with edge view. It has created a threaded profile. So right now the profile is circular. So we can change the profile according to our requirement. Let's say I want to create a triangular cut. Go to helical sweep. You can directly go to, you can see, click on this arrow. You will see profile section, sweep section. So I want to go to sweep section, click on dimension. You can change the values from here. You can also change the sketch from here or you can go to command, click on edit definition, then go to sketch. I want to delete this circle and then I will draw a horizontal center line. Then I will draw a line. Make sure this is a symmetric line and then I will draw a triangle like this. And for this triangle, let's say this value is 1 and this value dimension from here to at this edge, this value is also 1. Click OK. Now this time it is going to create a triangular profile for the cut. It decreases value, let's say this is 2.5 and click OK. So in this way you can create a threaded profile for any nut bolt connection using the helical sweep command.